Bourbon Barrel Month rolling along. It's cold outside, and today we're taking you to Cali. California. Warning. The following contains scenes from two lifelong friends who did too many barrel aid shoots in one night and continually reference Fremont as a California beer when it is clearly brewed in Seattle. While we apologize for the mistake, at least you get to see Todd do this. All right, everybody, welcome back to 21090. I am Andy. This is Todd. Yeah, chilly out today, Ooh. man. November is rolling right along, and we're continuing to bring you the best of barrel aged beers. Today, we're going with something that we can't get out here on the East Coast. Those of you out on the left coast, you got a little bit of a chance of finding this mm -hmm. one. It's a rare but highly sought after barrel aged beer. Todd, tell us a little bit about yeah. what we're sampling today. So, Fremont Brewing. Um, they are known for their barrel aged beers. They do Dark Star, Brew 2000, Brew 3000, and B Bomb, to name a few. And this is their B Bombs from 2018. Every December they release them. We've got the coffee cinnamon mm -hmm. and the coconut to compare side by side. These are amazing, so to speak, beers. We've never had them. Nope, never had them. Thank you, John, Syracuse fan 1982 out there in uh, Idaho, who sent us these beers That's awesome. uh, to try. We can't get them here. So I'm really looking forward to this. Yeah, me too. Me too. So which one do you want to dive into first? It really does. Coconut. What's coconut? I know you're a coconut. Yeah, I'm a big so. coke. I think without drinking these, we haven't touched these. Mm -hmm. I think I'm gonna like. I love coconut. I think you're gonna probably go for the coffee cinnamon. Well, we've agreed every now we'll and then. We'll see. see. We'll see what um, happens. Let's go with the coconut. I think that might All be right, sure. the sweeter one, and then we'll finish uh, maybe with the coffee cinnamon. I don't know. We'll All see. Right. So here is the coffee cinnamon. The same beer. They call it a winter ale. To me, it looks like a stout. Um, it's the same beer. It's just the different adjuncts they use. So in this one, they'll use toasted coconut. Tons of it. I've brewed with toasted coconut. Mm -hmm. It's a great way. Problem is, you can't always keep that flavor. It says for both of these, age them. So we've aged them for a year. Yeah. Let's see if they've held And up. we're finding that sometimes the flavors that we think may dissipate a little bit actually are yeah. surprisingly prominent after some aging. So there you yeah, go, let's, man. let's check Take this out. Take a look huh? at it. We poured this about two minutes, two, three minutes ago. You saw the pour here. Pretty dark. Um, pretty dark. Nice head. The head is gone yeah. now. Similar to what Bourbon County style yeah. sort of. Good legs on it though. Oh gosh. Smells so, bourbon heavy. I, I like the bourbon Ooh. smell already coming through on this. Um, yes, yes. Oh. Coconut's not jumping off the nose on this. So yeah. Are, are you getting a lot of it? No. And that was my worry. And I brew with coconut. It will eventually dissipate um, very easily as opposed to other adjuncts you can put in. I'm not getting any coconut on the nose. And this is pretty warm. We've let this yeah, warm this, up. I mean, it smells there's a awesome. Hint of sweetness in there. A, yeah. But I, mean, I would never say it's, coconut. It's, it's you, faint. Yeah. It's faint. Well, let's get in and see right, if we can get it taste. Mm. Ooh, that's a warmer. So, yeah. for being a coconut yeah. forward beer, I'm not getting a ton of it. Mm -mm. Um, but it feels yeah. complex. This this does not this is not kind of a doesn't feel like a one trick pony kind of beer because there's a I feel like there's a lot going it's on. It's really here. good. The bourbons definitely come through. I think they use multiple barrels in, in this series. Um, mouth feels really nice. That's it like, reminds me in a lot of ways of Bourbon County Stout, the mouthfeel, the, you know, the, the bourbon-esque qualities of it. It's got some spicy notes in yep. there. Um, definitely a bit of a warmer, you're right. Leather, sort of, um, again, but I don't know if it's because, I assume the year of aging has certainly probably brought down the coconut flavor on this. It's, it's, it's interesting because we, we did um, it's really that good. video with the Backyard Rye from mm -hmm. BCS that mm -hmm. was six years old, and mm -hmm. we still got all those mm -hmm. big berry flavors kind of kicking through here. Um, if you're going to age a coconut beer and you and you kind of know that it's going to dissipate, it's almost something you want to hit fresh. And I'm assuming it says, yeah, they say do it now and put it away and age one. It certainly uh, is beautiful it's beer. Like, it's just it's if you're a coconut lover, you may want to hit it early. Yeah, I guess I'm a little bit disappointed because I was hoping for more of that coconut flavor, and I think the year of aging has brought it down. Still, awesome, awesome beer. I would, it's a pretty beer though. It's a, an amazing beer. So let's go over the coffee cinnamon. All right, I would assume. The cinnamon flavor probably, hopefully, is held. That should that should last um, a little coffee bit longer. Is coffee debatable. as well. Yeah, we'll see. So let's get the nose on this. We'll already see the smells oh, coming through there. So way more on this. Yep. 
you kind of get that baking spice oh coming up in yeah there. the coffee um, too right like almost like uh it, they use cold brew coffee on this that's what i'm smelling and then you cinnamon. Get some roast and roast the cinnamon. so oh, that smells good bourbon heavy here yep coming through this spice forward yes um again really dark good legs there on this there seems to be a little bit more uh, head retention on this version yeah. if you look at it, it, it as sure in, in the coconut quickly went through and i think it's because of the, the toasted coconut they probably used in this all right let's give it a all shot. right cheers mm. oh wow oh wow oh <laughs> so cinnamon's still there yeah I've seen some reviews of this. Cinnamon, when it first is fresh, is really powerful. Uh-huh. It's still there. Yeah. Coffee balances this out too. That bitterness from this with yep. the cold brew coffee. Yeah, I like this that. This is really good. That's fantastic. That's um, fantastic. In fact, wow. this could sit oh, even longer. Totally could. Because yes. that cinnamon is still really kind of, mm, mm-hmm. and there's a little, little bit of a kick mm. there with that. Um, but the mouthfeel is just but beautifully that smooth. Is, yeah, I mean, this is a Sunday morning sipper, you know, right here. Get up and just have, you know, this is this. That's is nice. fantastic. Cinnamon's still there. It melts great with it's the coffee. It's all over the nose and the, and the taste. I mean, it wow. matches, I think. Now, that being mm. said, I'm not getting a ton of bourbon other than kind of those nice heat characteristics Correct. that you yep. get kind of warming when it goes down the back. But that's okay. I kind of like that, you know? Me too. I do like that. Um, you can tell it's there. You can tell it's a barrel-aged beer, just not as much as the coconut. I think this is wow. really blended nicely. That's, that's Isn't beautiful. that amazing? That, that's a really fun beer. I mean, we've, um, we've done some really good bourbon barrel-aged mm-hmm. beers. This is right up there. And you know, I mm. I brew that pumpkin every year, and people mm-hmm. and there's always whenever you add spices to a oh, beer, good. it's kind of, it's kind of hard to get it right. Oof. They got um, this right. This is this is this it's is about a spot. On. So a year get, later, yeah. this beer is. I would love to have this fresh and yeah, see how it is. It's a winner. It may be too much. Cinnamon. Although, see, I'm I'm, I'm glad we got this a year later. I yeah. wish I had that fresh. I, wish I, I think had yeah, fresh, right. You know? so, so let's do our ratings uh, out of five barrels. Five barrels. Uh, let's start with the coconut. What do you think? Yeah, I'm I'm gonna say I'm bringing it down just because I was hoping for more coconut, and that could be because we aged for a mm-hmm. year. I'm gonna say four, maybe on that. Okay. It's a really great beer. Yep. I just for a coconut, I want to. What about you? Um, I'm gonna. I'll probably say. You know, three seven five on 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 the okay. um yep on the coconut. I got gotcha. you. On tap uh, gives both of these four point four one. They're okay. exactly the same. All right. Now again, that's you know yeah. I'm sure a lot of those ratings are coming when they're fresh. Mm-hmm. So these are different beers then. So let's go to the coffee cinnamon. Coffee. Um, Why don't you go first? Yeah, I I I jump this another full notch. I give it a four seven five. I'm this, gonna this, agree with this you. This is that. this is awesome. I must go with a five. I mean, this, this is, is really, right up there. If this really was in good. a BCS lineup, I'd be going crazy about this. Well, I mean, that's the beautiful thing about the BCS. Is not the only. I know. I agree. I mean, there's yeah. other places, and Fremont is a, a wonderful example of making quality barrel aged beers and this is uh i'm going five on it's that. hard to get the spices right i don't see a flaw i don't see a flaw on that this is but no the only thing that you may think is you may want to touch more bourbon and you said that before you may True. want that a little bit but but you're still you're still getting still enough there that you're getting oh, that kick just look at it it's yeah beautiful. i'm, I'm it's gonna still got the nice head retention i'm holding four it. seven five but i'm loving every bit of it yeah um, so there you go i think we agree though yeah. this is certainly better it doesn't happen often guys Mm-mm. um but in this case Two great beers. Coffee cinnamon, though, is the winner that's, of this vertical. That's, that's amazing. That's it's amazing. a really good beer. All right, so uh, month goes on. Successful, yeah, amazing and bourbon barrel beers. month. Yep. Uh, more coming at you soon. But if you like what you see from two ten ninety, please hit that subscribe button and click that little bell in the corner. Going to let you know every time we've got a new video. Yes. Instagram, Twitter. We're going to put both of these on Untapped. Yes, sir. You'll see how we scored them collectively. Yep. And. Um, Check out, check that, out Instagram. Yeah, yeah we have uh, pictures on Instagram of all of our behind the scenes. I'm excited stuff. to see what's coming next. Oh, we've I'm got excited. a lot of good things. Excited Don't you worry. Coming next. So, cheers, everybody. All right, cheers. Good Ooh. on you, Fremont. That's right. Mm. Mm-hmm. That's awesome.